Hi everybody, Levi Clay here, back again for another daily transcription. Today we are looking at one of the most influential jazz guitarists throughout the history of the instrument, and that is the one and only Wes Montgomery. Wes's playing is so influential that it's really hard to put into words just how many people have taken a lot of the things that he was doing and the things that he pioneered. Now this video in particular, as you can tell from the title, we're focusing on this solo because there's some great up close footage of Wes's picking hand. Now Wes did not use a plectrum like most guitar players tend to. Wes played everything with his thumb and he has that, as you can see from the, the footage, this very double jointed uh, thing going on with his thumb, would rest all four of his fingers on the body of the guitar and play everything with that thumb. He had a great control with that thumb. You can see in this video, if you look very closely, he is alternate picking with that thumb as well. There is a down and up motion going on when he's playing. That's just the way that he always played. Um, legend has it that the reason he plays like that is because he wanted to be able to practice quietly after he would get done and his days at work he was working in machinery i believe um he would get home late and want to do some practice he didn't want to upset his neighbors so he would play with his thumb um and it worked for him it simply worked for him when you look at guys like uh george benson obviously massively influenced by wes's playing uh george would often switch into wes mode and just play with the thumb now the thumb brings in some fabulous um benefits if you like because he's using that fleshy part of the thumb it's a softer sound and of course when we think of wes montgomery we're thinking of uh, the octave sound, a big part of his playing and something that, you know, jazz guitarists love to do. Um, that octave sound, you know, that's Wes's thing. Um, none of that in this solo, interestingly. I picked this one, like I say, because the camera footage is so great on that picking hand. Um, but yeah, strangely, no, uh, <laughs> no octaves in this particular uh, video. Go and check out plenty of Wes's playing. There is loads of it out there. Uh, I like, there's a recording that he did with... Um, um, with Jimmy Smith, the organ player, called the Dynamic Duo that is um, that is worth checking out. Uh, the tragic thing about Wes is he died at just 45, so who knows where we would be now in music if Wes hadn't died at just 45, and of a heart attack of all things. Um, anyway, this is Wes Montgomery. I hope you enjoy it. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you for another video tomorrow. Laters. <laughs>